Hey guys, welcome to TechnoSavior. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Redis in Windows 10. So here I'll be showing three demos. First, how to install Redis using Docker. Second, how to install Redis natively using a zip file or a MSI installer. And third, how to connect Redis to a remote server. So let's get started. So in order to install Redis, we can directly go ahead and go to redis.io. So on selecting the docker, we land on to the docker hub page where it gives the command docker pull redis. What we can do is we can open our command prompt and write docker pull redis. So it will pull the latest image from the docker hub. Okay, so our docker image for redis has been installed. As you can see, this is the docker image. If we click on run, so what it does, it opens up a pop up. Here we can give things like container name. I'll be giving the container name as redis dash local and what port will be exposed to the outside the internal port is 6379 but in the host machine i want to host it in port for example 8081 for example 8081 and i will click on run as soon as i click on run the container starts loading up the image as you can see it's already mentioned in news so if i go to the container saying no matching container because I have a search query on top of it so my redis instance has already started if it would have been a web application you could have clicked on open in browser and the web application would have opened but since it's not a web application so we need to just open go inside the terminal of the redis docker instance so this opens up the terminal it's a linux terminal and if we type redis cli it will connect to the redis so for verifying whether it is connected properly or not i will just type ping and the response is pong so if you get this uh, response then your redis client is set up properly now if you type something like get abcd you will not get anything because we haven't set any key till now so next what we'll do we'll set anything for setting a key we have to use the command set like set name tech and for getting that same key input we can type get tech my mistake take is the value name is the variable so we have to type get name so finally for uh, looking at all the keys you can type keys space star and it will give you all the keys that are available let's set up a new key like set new underscore name welcome to redis but here also we'll be getting an error because it's a syntax error what it is expecting is a string and since it has a space we have to encode it we have to keep it within double quotes now if i type get a new underscore name it gives the response so these are some basic usage of redis and if you want to delete a key it's just the command is simple del and the key names you can give multiple key names like name new underscore name and it will delete all the keys now keys space star will not give any keys because we have removed everything Let's stop this instance. In order to download the MSI installer, you need to go into this GitHub page. It's a Microsoft Archive slash Redis. Here you see the first one will always be a pre-release and we need to always download a stable release. You can download the MSI or you can download the zip. I'll download both of them. You can extract out the zip file and in the zip file you will find the exes like Redis CLI and Redis server. Now if we open up the command prompt and if you type redis dash cli it will give an error letting you know that there is no active connection. The reason being we have not yet started the redis server. So in order to start the redis server we need to type let's try again like redis cli so it will tell that I won't be able to connect because there is no server listening. So now let's start up the redis server. Okay, so the redis server is up and running. Uh, let's exit from this terminal and type redis cli again. Cool. Now we are able to connect to redis. For verifying, we'll write just ping and it will give us pong. There are no keys present right now. So let's set one key. Set name. Techno savior and if i'll try to get the name now i'll be able to fetch it 
ओके सो इट वर्क्स फाइन सो की स्पेस स्टार इट गिवस यू द ऑल द कीज अवेलेबल इन दिस रेडिस सर्वर लेट्स स्टॉप दिस सर्वर एंड इफ आई ट्राई टू टाइप गेट और की स्टार एनी थिंग इट विल नॉट रिटर्न एज द रेस्पॉन्स बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली द सर्वर इज नॉट कनेक्टेड नाउ हियर कम्स ए क्वेश्चन वॉट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट रेडिस टू अ रिमोट सर्वर assume that uh, our docker instance let's start it again it's remotely present somewhere else so to connect to a remote server we need to type redis cli dash h and then i'll give the remote server ip the remote server ip can be anything wherever your redis instance is present and the port number as you can see main, here is 8081 If I click on Enter, it's telling that it cannot connect to Redis instance 8081 then colon 6379 because it doesn't know that it is the port. So let's modify the command again. Dash H, I'll give the IP and dash P, then I'll give the port number as 8081 because the Docker instance that is exposing the port to outside is 8081. Let's go into the Docker terminal and type Redis CLI. As you can see the inside the terminal or inside the docker instance the port is 6379 but outside it is 8081 the reason being internally the docker image is having the port is 6379 let for example if i type keys space star i'll get the name and if i get the name it gives me hello world let me set some name set welcome test and in my other terminal which is pointing to 8081 i'll try to get welcome and it will give me the response back so this is how you can connect any redis client to some external redis server so guys this was a basic overview of redis how redis works how to set up the redis server how to connect using redis client and how to use redis using docker and uh, the last part was that um, you can also set up redis using the msi installer but i won't be doing it you can try it out it's actually fairly simple it's uh, the next 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 uh, complete process hope you like this video and learn something new and uh, if you are new to our channel please do subscribe thank you